of your technologies, the global leader in isostatic processing, your sheet metal forming with FlexForm by Avure Technologies. Now I will show you a punch tool, and that is a, a part that comes to the leading edge, an aircraft wing. So it's a rib part. And what you can see here, that is that we have a narrow shrink flange in the nose here of the tool itself that will eventually create wrinkles on the part itself. So I start up with using the tool without the blank holder and after the, this pressing we dock the blank holder to the tool itself and then we control the blank with the blank holder. But the first pressing is without. The blank material I want to use here is aluminum alloy 2024 oak condition 1.2 millimeter thickness. In this case, I will just use one throw pad because the tool height is not so high, so that's why it's just enough with one throw pad on top of it. Yes, and then we'll start the press cycle. We're going to use 340 bars. And now we have done a press cycle with 340 bars. And what you can see on the form part itself here is that when we don't have control over the blank on the shrink flange like this, and then also here on the part, you see that we have a lot of wrinkles. So to control the blank here, we have to have a, a blank holder. So what I will do now is that I dock a blank holder to the tool itself. And here you can see the blank holder. The blank holder is hardwood and uh, it's perfect just for aluminum. So I will control the blank when it falls down into the gutter between the tool and the blank holder. The tool itself has a cutting edge here in the bottom of the tool. We also have a cutting hole in the center here. And the tool comes like this. Into the blank holder. The blank I'm using here is the same blank, 2024, all condition, thickness 1.2 millimeter. But before I start up with the pressing here, I have to control the friction. And I want to control the friction with some lubrication. On top of the blank holder. And down into the gutter. I even out the grease on top of the blank holder so I don't have any pockets or grease. And then I put the blank on top of the tool. I have positioning pins into the punch tool itself. And uh, now we have done a press cycle with 1,000 bars. And what you can see now on the tool itself is that we have a foam pot on top of the punch. We have scrap pieces in the bottom of the hole here, in the bottom of the groove itself, between the blank holder and the tool. And what I will do now is that I remove the punch tool from the blank holder And you can see that 
in this case, when we have control over the blank, we don't have any wrinkles in the nose of the part itself. If we compare the part to the previous one, you can see that this one, we don't have any control of the blank holder, which means that we have wrinkles in the nose. This one, we have control over the blank, so you can see that we don't have any wrinkles in the nose in the foam part itself. And with the high pressure, we can also cut the blank with the cutting edge, so we have scrap pieces in the bottom here of the gutter, and we also have scrap piece in the center of the tool itself. If I don't use the high pressure now, if I'm using 340 bars with the blank holder, I will have a part that, that look like this. What you can see now is that if I don't use a thousand bar on this tool, I will not cut and form properly. So what you see here on this part that has been done with 340 bars here is that we don't have enough of pressure down in the bottom here of the gutter between the tool and the blank holder. So we don't have a part that is formed enough in the nose here especially. And we don't have the cutting action that we need now in this tool. So in this case, you can see that we have the part that is not properly formed and it's not cut. So here you can see the difference. A punch tool without the blank holder, you have wrinkles. The punch tool with the blank holder, with a low pressure, is not completely formed and cut. And then you have the punch tool with the blank holder, thousand bars. It is complete in its forming and it's cut in the end of the pressing.